Well, hello there. Welcome to Old Man on Old Films. You see, I'm an old man, and I like old films. And today I'm going to talk about the 1934 classic, The Thin Man. Yeah, it's a comic whodunit detective story. But for me, the murder mystery part of this movie is not important. What makes this film fantastic is the two main characters, Nick and Nora Charles. Now, they're a couple who love their booze and their dog more than anything else. Nick Charles is played by William Powell, and he's an ex-private detective who gave up crime-solving when he married rich socialite Nora, who's played by Myrna Loy. The two spend most of their time cheerfully getting drunk, and then they get drawn into a murder mystery. Now, is it me, or does William Powell sort of seem drunk in every film he's in? Maybe that's just his carefree acting style, huh? Anyway, it's the banter and witty dialogue between Powell and Myrna Loy that makes this such a wonderful film. Powell and Loy had, had such great chemistry that they made five other Thin Man films together, as well as nine other films. Now, the film is based on a book of the same name by Dashiell Hammett, and I have no idea if that book had comedy in it. I've never read it. The husband and wife team of Albert Hackett and Francis Goodrich wrote the screenplay and perhaps they added all that witty dialogue in there, though I heard there was a lot of improvisation on set. It was directed by a man named W.S. Van Dyke, and I heard it was filmed at a breakneck pace. Now the film ends with the classic gathering all the suspects in a room, in this case they all have dinner together, and the detective, Nick Charles, revealing the plot as well as the killer. I don't know if it was that of a cliched thing back then. Perhaps it was. I don't know. I wasn't alive back then. The thing is, the thing that I like about this film, too, is it's a pre-code film, which means they could get away with a, a little bit more witty dialogue. Like for one scene, a detective is going through the dresser and Myrna Loy yells out, what's that man doing in my drawers? Mild, but not for 1934. Later on, Nora says, I read that you were shot five times in the tabloids, which Nick replies, that's not true. They didn't come anywhere near my tabloids. Come on, laugh a little. The thing that makes this film so wonderful is the interplay between Powell and Loy. They seem so natural together, like they're not acting. But I think that way of everything I see Myrna Loy in, she just seems to, I don't know, it's hard to explain. She just has this weird quality. Um, Powell said of them working together, he said, When we did a scene together, we forgot about technique, camera angles, and microphones. We weren't acting. We were just two people in perfect harmony. So apparently they enjoyed working together. Like I said, this film had five sequels. And the first one, After the Thin Man, is a pretty good film, but they had the same writing team and the same director. And I think they all came back for the third film, the second sequel, but after that, I think they had a different writing team and a different director, and they really go downhill fast. By the sixth one, it's just not the same. That witty dialogue that's so enjoyable in the first couple films just isn't there anymore. Anyway, films just don't get any better than The Thin Man. I highly recommend it. Turner Classic Movies shows it all the time. You should catch it there. In fact, right now, it's on their on-demand thing, but they only keep films there for a couple of days, so... If you want to check it out, check it out now, but keep looking for it. It'll be back. Anyway, this is Old Man on Old Films. I'll be back someday with another one of these. <laughs>